Here we go guys, just a quick video, I wanted to do one because there's so many people always talking about this thing that Australians do over here that you all just can't understand and that is Vegemite. So this here is a, an essential item for an Australian. It, uh, it is a gift from God and we all love it. Breakfast, lunch, we smear it on our ice creams, everything because we are nuts and we are crazy Australians. Uh, so what I wanted to do was do a really really quick video on showing you how we Australians uh, make our Vegemite on toast and what you guys in America and Canada all over the country are doing wrong. Uh, so I'll make your version of what you do and I'll make our version of what you do. So next time you uh, make yourself a Vegemite toast just to try it, you might actually make it the right way. So we'll roll the intro and I'll get on with uh, making some toast. All right, straight up bread, obviously. I'm gonna do two, just so you know, and I'll eat both of them. But uh, yeah, our toaster blew up, so we just use the George Foreman grill. Slap it in there, and uh, we'll just leave that for a few minutes, and we'll come back to you, and we'll show you how to uh, apply the correct amount of Vegemite. First things first. No, you don't put Vegemite in the fridge. The second thing, if you're gonna buy, buy butter, leave it in the fridge. If you're gonna use the first one for the wheat, you always leave that out on the bench. I don't know about you, but if you put it in the fridge, it goes hard. And uh, yeah, it makes it very difficult to spread butter if it's uh, rock hard. So no, leave it on the bench. Almost done. You don't want your toast burnt to the living crap house either. Tip number three. We're happy little Vegemites, as bright as bright can be. We all enjoy our Vegemite for breakfast, lunch and tea. And mama say we grow stronger every single week because we love our Vegemite. We all enjoy our Vegemite. It puts the rose in every cheek. So start happy with Vegemite, essential for brain functions, which we all need over here in Australia, supports your nervous system, essential for energy release, folate helps fight fatigue, hence why we are all so hyperactive and uh, just loaded, packed full of energy. But um, yep, you can uh, probably maybe read some of these that it's got in it, but <clears throat> we all know these are packed full of all sorts of vitamins, proteins, carbohydrates, sugars, um, sodium, thiamine, uh, riboflavin, niacin, folate, uh, yeah, packed, packed, full of all the good stuff. All right, no, not quite, but for uh, the purpose of the American viewers, I'm gonna take that one out and show you guys what you're doing wrong. So straight up, your butter has got to be soft. This butter's, like I said, been sitting out. It's really, really soft. You want to just get a, a good amount of butter. But this is, like I said, this is the American one. So you should probably just do like the tiniest little bit of butter on it. And then with your Vegemite, you for some reason think that this was going to be great in copious amounts of Vegemite. So that there is 10 times too much. So the idea, like I said, <laughs> you guys are doing, you're just spreading it way too much on there. I mean, I would still eat that anyway. I'm not so fast, but uh, I know it, it is really, really salty, the old uh, Vegemite. If it's thick like engine oil, then you don't want that. But that's how you guys would have it on your toast really thick as you can see and I'll uh, show you the Australian version I'll just get that off okay here's what we do smash the butter loads of butter I gotta get lots of butter on there it's probably even a bit maybe a bit too much but alright small amount of Vegemite 
Okay, a little bit like that. And see all that butter all squishing in and helping spread it around. To me, that is the perfect amount of Vegemite. You don't need a great deal, just a little, 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 little bit. Boom. Cut it up. Boom, look at that one. <laughs> the American version. So, alright, we'll switch the camera around. Oh, yum. Switch, switch it around. Alright, there we go. So, I'll try the... Uh, the American, the American version of Vegemite on toast. Oh. This stuff puts hairs on your chest, and when you put it that thick, it burns them straight back off again. Woo! It's good. I like Vegemite, but I don't like it like that. You should not be able to spread it like chocolate. Australian version. Loads of uh, loads of butter, so it's dripping off it, and just a small amount of Vegemite. Oh. The bomb. I could eat that all day long. On the other, the other one on the other hand, no, thank you. Alright, that'll do. I'm going to enjoy my lunch. Guys, stop spreading Vegemite too thick and stop telling everyone it tastes disgusting. Because it doesn't. Clearly, we love it over here in Australia. It's absolutely beautiful. And, um, yeah, like I said, it's uh, God's gift to us over here in Australia. We uh, literally... I don't know many people that don't like Vegemite here in Australia. We have it for breakfast every single day. If it's not Vegemite, it's Wheat Bix. And uh, I don't know if you've heard of what Wheat Bix are, but they are a cereal. And yeah, they're, that's the uh, second thing that Australians go by. If it's not Vegemite, it's Wheat Bix. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and see if I can send out some little jars across, um, across the world to a few people and get these guys to do a bit of a video. And maybe you can learn how to actually put it on properly and um, enjoy it the way we do and hopefully it might become your next best thing that you do but I'm going to do some uh, cooking videos with it soon and um, show you some different recipes you can actually make with Vegemite it's uh, really really good anyway that's the video guys peace out stay moist